started painting in, well, before art school. I graduated in Alberta College of Art in 1991. I had done some painting in high school, in the high school art program, and then maybe a little bit afterwards. But yeah, I went into the painting program at art school and graduated in 91. That's a question I'm asked a lot and I have a tough time answering it. Um, I look to sort of some, some of the people I look to are the abstract expressionists, but you know, I'm dealing more with the landscape. Um, I guess it's sort of impressionism, post-impressionism. Post yeah, hard to label it, my contemporary landscape painter. Um, I think that people would probably understand it as that I'm kind of recording it an impression or an expression of the landscape. It's not photorealistic. It's it's um, clearly um, yeah. So I exaggerate things, especially colors, and uh, just that shows I hope an expression of myself and my experience of the landscape. Uh, a lot of uh, my process involves actually just being out in the landscape, um, hiking or snowshoeing or, or uh, cross-country skiing, um, just getting out, fishing, um, being out on the rivers. Uh, so that part of the process is really important. Like that's where I get my inspiration and subject matter. And then these days I, I mostly don't do plein air painting. I, use photographs in the studio and work off the photographs to develop the painting. My favorite part of the process is definitely day one. I try and lay in a painting all in one go on the first day and that's kind of the most expressive and, and quick painting and uh, yeah, the most enjoyable. After that it gets into harder work. <laughs> mentioned that uh, I used to do quite a bit more plein air work um, but as I increasingly started to work larger scale that gets harder to do out in out in the landscape um, you know a, a large painting is essentially a kite that gets blown around by the wind so uh, that's probably one of the bigger changes for me is that that I mostly do studio painting now rather than plein air suits my painting style better. I find that it's easier to be expressive with, with the larger sizes and, and yeah, it has maybe more visual impact as well. So I really enjoy just working big. The subject matter that I choose, I guess, is, is uh, just what I see out in the landscape. It's what, what catches my eye. Um, I, uh, you know, I take a lot of photographs when I'm out hiking or, or, or whatever I'm doing out in, in our wilderness and uh, then kind of go through a process of, of, of um, picking some of the better ones to kind of use as possibilities for painting, sort of kind of getting rid of the other ones. And so, yeah, just, just kind of, does that answer the question? <laughs> <laughs> a hard question. The way I paint, um, not being super realistic uh, and trying to keep things expressive and loose, it is a hard time. It's hard sometimes to sort of pick uh, the moment when a painting is done. Uh, sometimes one of the things that's a good indicator for me is when I'm becoming kind of bored of the work, when I'm sort of becoming not engaged in it and, and so I take some time to sort of look at a piece and, and see if where it sits now is where perhaps it should sit and anything further will maybe go backwards on it. So, but it, it's, it's hard, like just setting work aside and looking at it for a while. And, and often, you know, I do work it again and other times I think, well, it's done.